Okay, so now we will discuss about how to upload the files like images, Excel sheet, okay, in Node.js folder by using Multer npm. Okay, so how to upload single file in a folder? How to upload multiple files in a folder? And how to upload a single file along with parameters and that file should be stored in folder after that that folder path file path along with parameters how to store in mysql and mongodb like that multiple files and how to store that multiple files in a folder and how to store that multiple file paths along with the request object in mysql as well as mongodb okay so while writing that apis what type of scenarios we will face it that all those things we will discuss okay we will discuss one by one so first of all this uh, multer npm that will be used to upload the different types of files and uh, what will be the syntax for multer npm so before that node api this is our api for and here uh, no need to do this comment emp controller so here first one first point is import that multer npm okay so go to the package.json and observe here multer So there it is. So here, multer npm has been installed. Now, see here, I want to store the file in one folder. Okay. So if you want to create that folder, you can create it, or else if you want to give that folder in code itself, you can give it. Okay. So by creating that folder, you just give that upload and so in this folder if you want to save that files you can save it okay so i want to give that folder name in code itself that's why i didn't give that folder here okay so first of all let file storage equal to multer dot disk storage okay so in multer disk storage method will be there so i am using that one so why because i am i want to store that file in disk okay so this is the method so here see in this destination and file name will be the parameters destination means so in which folder you want to store that files okay so give that destination so here i want to give uploads uploads is the folder name and file name is another parameter here request file and callback function and let file name equal to file name equal to 
फाइल डॉट ओरिजिनल नेम ओके सो आई विल शो दिस ओरिजिनल नेम वाइल डूइंग द डीबक ओके जस्ट ऑब्जर्व दिस एंड दैट फाइल नेम B, I, I am going to change that file name. So, like, see, file name, example files. So, in this, no, no, no. So, node images in this folder, I have kept some file names. So, images. So, these are the images. Okay. So here, this is the file name. Promise all. Promise all. So I want to change this file name like promise all underscore date. Date means epoch time. Okay. So JPG. Okay. So underscore date dot jpeg. Okay. So how to do that? By using substring and index, we can do that. So I am writing file name dot substring of zero comma file name dot index of dot so first of all i am taking before the index what was the name i am taking that name from 0 to before the dot okay so after that i am giving date Okay, so underscore and concatenate with date dot now. So this will give current time epoch. Okay, epoch time of current time plus and file name dot substring of file name dot index of dot plus one so from after the dot position so what are the characters are there so i'm going to take that characters okay so dot jp jpeg okay So we have used callback CB of so we have to give null here and uh, file name. So we have calculated file name. So cal give file name. Okay. Next. Let upload equal to Uploads means you can upload. So this is the variable and multer of. So here this is for setting multer storage engine to the newly created object. So in this multer, I am going to create one object. So, and I am going to set this variable, what we have declared here, file storage. Okay. After doing this, you can write the API now. So, router dot post of 
Yes. Single file and give this file upload of file upload dot single of give this key name okay so i'm going to give the key name picture and request response I are you start send new error response of four hundred e dot message. Now here res dot send new API response of two hundred success. Okay. Here any okay. so we'll check it now. So here uploads is the destination folder and this is the api method and here single means it will allow to upload only one file and pic means key name okay key name of that image go to the post copy this method name and go to the postman and uh, this is uh, mysql controller here in body see so here you can give pic and see body under this body form data is there go to that form data and here select file select any one of the file and here maintain file only not text okay and execute it oh, shit. see observe this here one directory will be created uploads see uploads directory will be created it is empty and here promise dot all image I am going to upload. And I am getting success message. Why it is not there? Okay, I didn't select here. See, file was there, but format is so 
so it is an text format invalid format okay now again execute it and uh, i am going to delete this Folder was created. Go to here. See. So image has been uploaded. Okay. So this is about uploading image. Okay. Now I am going to upload multiple images. So same. Okay. So here give multiple files and here array so key name is picture only psc only okay execute it and go to here and see from now I am going to upload all these images. Okay. So it is better to delete that folder, upload, so execute it. So upload folder has been created and four files has been selected for key name is. PIC. So, and the method name, this is the method name. Give this multiple files. See, all the files have been uploaded. Okay. And uh, this is about uploading multiple files. And now I want to do the same task in EMP controller. So, EMP controller belongs to MongoDB. Okay. So I want to do the same task. Then how to do that? You have to copy the entire code from here to EMP controller. Okay, but it is not a good practice. Okay, so for this, I am going to do one thing. Under the it is folder, I am going to create one common dot ts. And I am writing all this code in one function. I am going to call that function. Okay. So, so that I can use anywhere that function. So, go to this common.ts and uh, copy this. Here, function name is. Storage. Okay, so this is the function name storage files. This is the function name and copy this all these things here. Okay, and after that, you have to return one value return file upload. So that's it. Copy this function name in the place of file upload. Okay. And here, quick fix. Yeah, quick fix is there. Click on this, and it is indicating that adding missing function declaration. Sorry, I didn't export this function. 
spot okay so now see quick fix add import from utils slash common dot ts okay so click on this then that import statement will be created okay so same thing copy this here okay now again i am going to where it is upload folder so it is not it was not there again you check it whether it will work or not you check it upload folder is created and click send and all the files will be uploaded okay so now if i want to execute this methods api methods in another controller you just copy and paste it here that's it and uh, i think you need to import this file yes import this function okay now again execute it we will see whether that api methods will work in this controller or not so mongo db this is the controller name sorry i didn't uh, now again execute it folder will be created now, see all the files has been uploaded okay so this is the better approach okay and uh, put the debug Soul dot lock. First, and, uh, dot lock. Okay. Click on debugging. So Okay. Properly displaying. So I want to show the this debugging. Again, I will tell. Uh, 
already put in user. Okay. You can observe this. In require dot. So in request. File dot. See this in request. File object is there under this file object. Where is file name? So this is the file name. OK. So go to the common dot yes. It is MongoDB. See this. This is what I am trying from long time. So under this file, original name. So it will contain original name. So that's why I have written file dot original name. Okay. So by using debugging only, I can know all those things. So under this file, original name is there. So I am taking that original name into one variable. After that, I am changing that original name okay that means i am just i am modifying that name okay like uh, promise dot all promise all dot jp is the promise hyphen all underscore epoch time of current present date okay present date and time so after that dot jp is okay so this is i am changing this name to this name after that, I am returning that name and put into this parameter file name. Okay. And here in request, see under this file, this is the path original name. We have original name and path also. Okay. So this path we will store in database. Okay. So that that thing we will cover in next session. So this is what I am trying to say.